the aroma. So it's time for Eat It Like It Share It Summer Cook Off with an innovator and influencer who inspires his millions of viewers and followers on his digital platforms and his many shows like Cooks vs. Cons and Iron Chef. Please welcome Jeffrey Zakarian. Thank you. Wow. You are great. Thank you. Hello, hey, Chef. Brother. Nice to I see you, man. Here. You are wow. the Loosely. natalie's the tired chef oh, of all the chefs in the land of chefery. Mm -hmm. thank you very much. Okay. My dad loved to dress so. That's well, what happens. You know what? You so who's voting well. for me right away before I cook? This well, is a I competition. Am. Hey, we gotta vote for me. I am. You know why? I'm voting for you because of that rosé right over there. Yes, Aww. Kelly's been eyeing Thank this. Thank you. As we call it pink, pink water. Is this good with burgers? I love rosé with anything, especially outside. Very cold, Cheers. right? It's got to be very cold. Ice cold. Ice Cheers. cold. Cheers. Cheers. Okay. That's why you drink it fast. Do you cook at home? I cook all the time. I have three yeah. children under the age of 10. So... Wow. Breakfast and burgers. I do well, breakfast every out, day. As it turns out, cooking's not the only thing you're doing. Exactly. <laughs> so. <laughs> but I'm, I'm blushing. My blushing is <laughs> at the rosé. Sorry, the rosé. <laughs> it's called blush wine. Remember, yeah. it was called yeah, blush that's wine. Right. Yeah. Okay, so, so we're going to do some go. burgers. We're making the burgers. Very simple, but there are tips and rules that I always use. This is the same thing we do in our restaurant. So mm -hmm. everything I'm going to tell you is what we do. First of all, it's all about product, yes. and it's all about the burgers. See how heavily ground these are. They're mm. like a big grind. Yeah. You are not making meatballs, so it's all about the grind. So I use 75-25 meat fat ratio. Really? Yes. Don't get lean burgers. I know <gasps> that sounds awful, but lean burger is not going to taste much because the fat is in the burger. When you're going to have a burger, enjoy it. Enjoy oh the burger. Been, Go for it. Yeah. Enjoy the burger. I've been doing it wrong. I've been doing it wrong. No, it's not wrong. It's just it's, you're, you're doing it differently. However, okay. it will taste better. And notice they're, they're sort of not perfect. So you want you don't want to mash them. This is this right. whole technique of doing that is bad because you're making meatloaf. Right. This is a burger. You want some cracks and crevices so the the fat comes out and hit, and heats in the pan yeah. and cooks in its own fat. I and like do your you need that kind of skillet? Cast iron number cast two iron. tip. Always cast iron. I yeah. always use cast iron because you're actually cooking. It gets very hot. See so your caramelization yeah. on the burger. Feel right. how hot that is. I can yeah. hear it snap. Okay, so yeah. really important. Uh, a burger has to be seasoned yes. really well. Really well. So kosher salt from above. The reason from above is you see that? Yeah. You can see what's evenly and what's not evenly seasoned, all right? And wow. Turn it over. So there's nothing on the meat yet until you nothing. do Nothing. You don't put anything inside the yeah. meat. Not onions, not garlic, none okay. of that. That's meatloaf. This right. is a burger. Yeah. Okay. There's, there's a, a fine line. Right. 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 So just salt and pepper. You don't mm. like meatloaf, do you? I you love meatloaf. You've no. referenced since twice. No, no, Very I love derogatory. meatloaf. But like I said, everything is for its purpose. You don't call meatloaf a hamburger. It's not. It's very different. It has ketchup. He's a purist. Okay. Exactly. Okay, so you ready? A hot pan, a lot of pepper, mm. and then a little canola oil. You can use peanut oil or anything like that, but I like this. Now, it's got to be hot. One of the most important things in your kitchen is a cast iron. Cast yeah. iron is Brilliant. I mean, your mom, your grandmother, everybody had it. You need these two. You need one for fish, one for meat and chicken, and that's all. That's all. You can cook everything. So, so. you need separate for... I think so, okay. because you don't want to wash them out. When they're seasoned, you yeah. wipe right. them out and Oh, put you them just away. wipe them, yes. right. Okay. So you hear oh, that? Yeah, that's it. Can you hear that that's one more time? Yeah. We like. Yes. And the third time. Now, the most important thing is leave them alone. <laughs> A lot of people okay. outside, they're like this. Yeah, right yeah, there. Yeah, you know yeah. the guy, they get the beer. Yeah, yeah, don't don't do yeah. that. Don't yeah. do that. Okay. It's right. going to lift off by getting caramelized. And you'll actually really shake the pan and they'll move. So and long. that's when you know. Now we're going to make our sauce. Are you ready for, for the how sauce? Long, yeah. For how long are we I eating do, each sauce? I like medium rare. I'm going to cook a little more for you. I, I know, know you're medium, medium well, you know, right? I like medium rare. Yeah. I you like, do? I like a good veterinarian could bring it back to life. <laughs> oh, okay? my God. I was misinformed. Yeah, I know. I was misinformed. No, no, no. Okay, so I'm going to let about two to three minutes aside. Each side. Okay. Each temperature. Okay, sauce. Are you pattern. ready? You're going to help me with the yeah, sauce. Yeah, let's go with the sauce. Mayonnaise. Yeah, how much? Just throw it all in there. This is a one batch, okay? All right. This is called dump and stir. Okay. Ketchup. Ketchup, good. Right here. Go ahead. Go ahead. You got it? You need yeah. a spoon? I don't need a spoon. All right. I don't need a spoon <laughs> for that ketchup. I don't need a spoon. Okay. Shallots. Shallots. Mm -hmm. Chopped oh, shallots. Great shallots. Okay. Now, I have uh, chopped pickles. You can use sweet relish if you want. Mm -hmm. Okay? Mm -hmm. And over Done. there, you have grated horseradish. Here we go. Oh. 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 Horseradish is so <laughs> yeah. good. So good, right? <sighs> Fresh? Yep. That's oh, the bun. Yeah. And a little parsley. Okay. Mm. That's the sauce. That's the exact <laughs> sauce <laughs> of my burger so that okay. we serve at uh, Georgie. Uh, my Georgie's restaurant. restaurant. Oh, yeah. Beverly Hills. Right. Beautiful yes. restaurant. It's called the Georgie Burger, named after my son, who's three. Oh, that's so nice. All right, so that's the sauce. You want to taste it? Yeah, I sure do. All right, so you made it. Notice I haven't touched the burger. All right. Mm. You have very good discipline. That is good. Mm. Good, right? Mm. All right, mm. you ready? 
Mm. I, could okay. eat, I could eat the sauce as a meal. Now we're going to flip it and go to break. Let, let's, take a, let, let, let's take a break as he flips. We'll come back and see how it all turns yeah. out uh, right after the break. We are midway through building the perfect burger with Jeffrey Zakarian. I just ate a handful of crispy shallots. <laughs> crispy shallots. Teach me the secret to okay. the crispy shallots. So, as you see, we've only, we've only flipped once. All right, this is live time here. Now we're going to flip this one here, and you're going to see the beautiful crust. See that crust? Oh, ah, yes. the crust. And another tip, when you flip, flip away from your, your people. So you don't uh, to flip burn that yourself. way. Yeah, nice? Okay, we're going right. to leave it alone. Okay. All right. So the, the, the key to make really crispy shallots, you can mm. taste those. They're so good. And they stay for about a week in a sealed container, is to start with mm. very cold oil. Sounds odd. It but does. It seems like I, the opposite. Counterintuitive. Shallots. I like shallots because they're easy to chop up and they're small. They fit in the sauce. Yep. And we're going to just let them cook in cold oil. We're going to bring it up slowly until they simmer mm. about 15 minutes. And what does that do? What it does is it releases, it releases the oil and the uh, onion quick, uh, slowly. And the sugar comes out and then it caramelizes easier. Mm. So if you just fry them fast, you they'll only, stay yeah. crisp for like a second. You know when you get fries just out, they're yeah. crisp and then they get soggy. Mm -hmm. Right. So that's, what the, that's the reason why. Okay. Are you ready? We're going to build a burger. Oh, yes. Okay. That's the best Show so, us how. Construction. Again, another tip. Always want to season and griddle your burger bun. So mm. these are the buns. Notice they're nice and brown. Really important. And you, see that fat in there? So yes. after that fat's out, that's the natural fat coming out. You're going to put these in there. Oh, so you let them. And you get the burger. So you get that love. We get to dump get that love. Extra fat. Yeah, okay. On your and bun. And then always season it with salt. People forget that this is really important. This is the bread. So we're talking about a burger to bread ratio. So you see how nice that is? Yeah. When I put the burger in, it's going to be about like that. Yeah. And if you have, you know those Instagram photos of burgers, burgers all stacked up? Big. It's nice for a photo, but you can't eat it. They seem daunting to me. They are daunting. That's a good like, word. They seem like thirsty burgers. Are you ready? Yes. Okay. okay. So then I'm going to hit this a little special sauce. That goes on the bottom. Special Balance. Sauce. Okay. A bed special of special sauce. sauce. Yeah. Very nice. I could and eat that with a spoon. I'm not kidding. This is like a nice chowder. Notice yeah. I put it on a crusty bread. What the, what the crusty bread does is it keeps that nice layer so it doesn't get soggy. Yeah. Right. Right. Then we're going to use my favorite lettuce, a little bib lettuce. Oh, bib, I think this bib? bib lettuce the reason is so why I like underrated. It, but it has this nice mouthfeel. It's just enough crunch That's and softness, cups right? Burger it cups of burger. Mm -hmm. Then we're going to take a burger. And the cheese? The cheese is uh, cheddar. I like oh. cheddar because I just like it. Yeah, I think it's doesn't? delicious. Who I mean, like cheddar? It has, you know, Swiss is nice. It's melty, but uh, cheddar has this, like, Sharpness, and I think There's it's a important combination with yeah. the meat, the and then great. a little of these beautiful crispy shallots on the top. This is fat-free, right? This is Ryan not fat wants free. to know. He's asking. No. And a little bit more, a little bit more of this on Just top. Just lie to me, oh, Jeffrey. Ryan is asking. It is not, but you're not gonna eat these every day. No, you know, you know, no, but we fun. might, we you might. We have, have obsessive today. personalities. Okay, yeah. so you ready? That's one. Oh, that's gorgeous. Now, I don't like to put anything else except a pickle. A pickle. Yeah. We have a skewer. I like to skewer them on top, put them right there. We're gonna oh, put just okay. like that. I'm gonna make one, one okay. more for you. Yeah. This and then we're gonna eat. Delicious. Now right? listen, oh. we ha I have to tell the audience something to do now. Go ahead. We're gonna post today's cook-off video on our Instagram post, mm -hmm. okay? On our Instagram, YouTube, and Twitter, and Facebook pages. You can help Jeffrey advance to be uh, in the finals on Instagrams with 